Oh boy, summer camp. Hey, nice glasses, dork word. I've been here for 10 minutes. I don't think anyone would blame me for going home early. Hashtag be prepared. Sunscreen, bug spray, but most importantly, pepper spray. Because this camp is located two miles from a medium security federal prison. I'm looking forward to playing tug of war against our rival camp across the lake. And if I have to carry the team on my back in order for us to win, I will. Which is looking pretty likely because some of these kids get winded just climbing down from their bunk beds in the morning. I sure hope I packed enough. I mean, I realize camp only lasts seven nights, but with the way the food is here, I gotta have several extra changes of underwears just in case. The buddy system is vital for everyone's safety. The problem is everyone wants to buddy up with me. But if I buddy up with Jason, then Tabitha gets mad. And if I buddy up with Mikey, then Jason gets mad. And if I buddy up with Timmy, forget about it. Oh, it's so hard being so likable. I am coordinating the camp talent show because my talent is ruthlessly evaluating other people's talents. So Timmy, I'm sorry. Your little comedy routine is not making the cut. Honestly, your true talent is making other people feel embarrassed to be alive. Okay, I admit it, counselor. Tiffany and I snuck out last night and went to Make Out Rock, but we only went there to go stargazing. I promise. What? It was cloudy all last night? No wonder we couldn't see any constellations. Uh, I just thought, like, it was like an eclipse or something, you know? Like, I couldn't, couldn't see him. Tonight, I will be lurking in the darkness outside the younger kids' cabins, scaring the crap out of them. By reading the statistics on stagnating wages and skyrocketing housing prices. Hope they enjoy sleeping in a cabin, because by the time they're adults, they'll be lucky to afford a place that nice. Check out this friendship bracelet. Yeah, it was pretty hard to make, but not as hard as making a friend. Anyone up for another water balloon fight? That last game was exhilarating. Did you catch the look on Timmy's face when my balloon actually lifted him from the earth like a gut punch from God himself? Such wholesome fun. You know what? I think Mikey and Tabitha would make a cute couple. So at tonight's campfire, I'm gonna play matchmaker and get them talking. Because as we all know, the best way to start a fire is with some matches. Though the counselors here also use a lot of lighter fluid, which is probably not safe. I ran through the woods naked and now I have a poison ivy rash all over my body. Did someone dare me to do it? No, I did it because I wanted to feel alive. And so that's when the clown looked at me with a menacing grin and said, there's more than one way to slice a cake, kid. Anyway, uh, that was just a tangent about my seventh birthday party. Let me get started on that spooky story I was about to tell. It would be generous to call what they serve in the dining hall food. If Oliver Twist himself were here, he would say, please sir, don't make me eat anymore. Last night's dinner was called Meat Surprise. If there is one food group I don't wanna ever be surprised by, it's meat. Dear mom and dad, I am happy to report that I have made a friend at camp. Well, actually it's one of the counselors, but that's still pretty cool because they usually only get buddy-buddy with the awkward loners. Wait a second. Everyone, I am starting a petition to change the name of this camp. I mean, camp got a go pee? It's offensive. Not everyone here is walking around with a full bladder. Although, I did happen to drink a lot of off-brand Kool-Aid today at lunch, so just, Excuse me for one minute. They call him Mr. Frank James. Strolling down the internet boulevard. 